So I'm uh, working on this cheap marketplace trailer conversion. So I paid 300 bucks for this thing on marketplace and an older couple had it and they're pretty firm on the price. So I bought it and towed it home, but clearly it needs some TLC. This was actually a boat trailer. So it had some rollers on the middle and a winch on the front. Actually, I just removed the winch. It was clamped here, still have it. Got some spare parts, fenders. I might actually recycle those because they're galvanized. The frame is galvanized and it's in good, good, strong condition. So I'm sort of just cleaning it up and painting it, put new wheels on. They were not cheap boat trailer wheels they were eight inch so i upgraded to 12 inch plus tax and yada yada and tire fees environmental fees whatever the freak it is nowadays I was putting some pressure treated lumber on that stuff's not cheap either but the trailer was cheap so i figure she's good for 2,000 pounds i think the tires are good for 2,000 pounds so that's probably plenty for what i want to do i got some new taillights trailer light set so it comes with the wires license plate bracket tail lights so John, if you need to add stuff right there Take a video of this stuff. Yeah. Sheesh. Put a couple more boards on today. Laid a little bit more paint down. And she's coming along. I think I might chop some of that. Some of that's a little excessive. So I probably don't need all that since it's not a 12 foot boat. It's only going to be 8 or 10 foot deck. So 8 feet is right here and 10 feet is like, I don't know, somewhere here. So I don't need all that, I don't think. But she's looking good. Got her mostly painted up. Scrub most of the old loose paint off the best I could. Put some more boards down. I got different sizes, so I got eight inch boards, six inch boards, four inch boards, but they're all two inch thick. So I got a license plate and ownership from the Service Ontario, from the DMV. I got some U-bolts to go here because these are the wrong ones. So I got some new ones to go here. I got some new tail lights to go on her. Sheesh. Not too bad. So I took those ugly old square U bolts that were totally the wrong ones. Took those ugly units off. Trailer U bolt. So we got a couple of them there. Put them on there. Oh yeah, that's way more gooder. Way more gooder. New bottom plate. Uh, the bearings feel okay for now. 
Maybe I'll service them later, but they seem okay for now. Wrap, wrap. Okay, things are coming along. Looking good, so far so good. But I think this is a little bit excessive. Did a little measuring here and there. And I think I'm gonna wanna cut it. Yeah, if I have an eight foot deck, I think that's long enough for tongue. If I have a 10 foot deck, I think that's long enough. And that's right in between. So right now it's eight foot, it might be a nine foot someday. So I think I'm gonna cut it off right there. And that should give me the 60, 40 weight distribution for tongue weight. Yeah. So I'm just gonna snip, snip. Now I'll unbolt this coupler receiver thing and I'll move it back here. Have to drill some holes. Let's do this. Look at the friggin' junk. Just look on to it. So I feel a little bit accomplished. I got uh, deck boards laid out and screwed down. And they're kind of random two by eights, two by sixes and two by fours, but they're all pressure treated. So hopefully they last. I might actually put some stain, stain on them. And uh, I disassembled the old fenders. They were kind of iffy with the brackets. One of the brackets was broken. Some of the welds were iffy. And chunks missing. So I might reuse those because they're galvanized. The whole frame is galvanized, which is kind of nice. New tires. They're 12, 12 by 5.3 on a four bolt. Uh, the bearings seem to be okay. I might change them anyway. So I ended up coming one board further, which gives me a hundred inches, which is uh, eight feet and four inches, I think. So it's, I think that's good proportion and that's about as, probably about as far as I'll go with it because of the triangulation. So I might put a, I might put a edge board or something. That one's just sitting there. And I drill the hole here and put a bolt through that's actually a recycled bolt from one of the rollers or something I took off already because there was a bolt down below here, down below the tongue, but there was nothing going through the tongue here. And I noticed sometimes it would, uh, if you stood on the tailgate, it would move a little bit. So I put a bolt through there. So, I cut the tongue two feet off, moved the receiver thing here, drilled two holes, bolted her back on again. And that's what she's looking like right now. There's the old tires. They were starting to crack. I wouldn't trust them for very far. They were eight, they were eight inch, but they were the wide ones for the boat trailer. So I upgraded to the 12 inch. And I think that's just dandy. I might actually, I might reuse some of this. Not too sure yet. Yeah, I might actually use the trailer for the first time take this load of junk and go unload it somewhere else. 
Well, I think that's gonna be about it for this one. I still gotta do the, finish the lighting, finalize the lighting. I might recycle those fenders there. I'm not sure yet. But uh, I feel like the transformation is complete. And uh, yeah, she's definitely not a boat trailer anymore. So I feel like we're almost done with the deck. And uh, yeah, she's coming along pretty good. I got the frame painted up, but that galvanized frame is kind of nice. And I think it'll last for a while yet since it's galvanized. And yeah, I'm overall happy with it. She's two foot shorter. It fits the lawnmower, lawn tractor. It fits the ATV, it fits the caravan. So I think I'll definitely get some use out of it. I might come and follow up on some videos. I did a trailer light video probably four years ago with the lighting and wiring diagram. So I might do that again because it did turn out to be a popular video or a good video, good topic. And it's a universal topic because if it's multiple applications. So I might do the lights on another video and uh, do an updated wiring diagram and lighting video and then I might do some rails or something some tie downs but that's probably going to be on the next one we'll follow up on this project later